west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said, chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends, or we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Now but your domino. So what you suck is trying to do? Rhyming comical, guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team all stars, I coach them up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and the apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since. All the dominance of one west rising to prominent. Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. They want a nigga quiet, mute my maneuvers. But I ride like I got group pines for Uber. Rhymes hard like they've been viewed by Medusa. Nine milli Luger, 17 in the Ruger. Only need a few to sit up in your medulla. Obligata for the regatta niggas while they win every dollar. They riding by them black Apollos, let the semi holler. The showstopper been the proper since the teeny bopper. But now I'm growing them off Patron, a premium of vodka. I put his tensions on the Glock, modify the chopper. The swore heavy war ready and that's worth the mama. No marijuana, say I got the loudest silence on it. When I'm a born, it ain't no rapper, do it like I do it. A lot of spitties and writers, but when they eat so, none of them can get through the fire. Went around with me, and I had them niggas spin like a tire. But down the D, and I'm still dope as a piper. Every bar burn hard like a spoon with a lighter. Right here showing you that according to the Bible and history, the black man is the real Jew. The same Jew that you read about in the Bible. The same Jews that God loves, man. The same Jews that Jesus Christ came, lived, and he died for. And being a Jew does mean something. A lot of people say, a lot of people say, what's the relevance? Well, it is relevant. If in the Bible that everyone reads, God loves that nation, then it does matter. In the same Bible everyone reads, everyone is an Israelite. King David, he's an Israelite. Right. King Solomon, he's an Israelite. Right. Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, all these great men that you read about, what nationality were they? They were Israelites. So, so how can we in these last days say, well, God loves everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. When, if you're a reader of the Bible, surely it matters. With your education of the Bible, how can you say being a Jew does not matter? Which, which only means one thing, you don't know the Bible. That's a problem, man. Now I'm gonna get into the kingdom of heaven. All up in the church, the pastor talks about the kingdom of heaven, not acknowledging who the kingdom of heaven is even for. When you read the Bible, the kingdom of heaven is only for the Israelites. The kingdom of heaven is only for the Jews. The kingdom of heaven is not for everyone. Give me Acts 1 and 6. Give me Acts 1 and 6. I'm going to show you in the same Bible everyone reads. It even tells you who the kingdom of heaven is even for. And it's not for everyone. It's not for all nations. The kingdom of heaven is only for you, black man. You are the real Jews. And that kingdom of heaven spoken about in the Bible, that's only for the Israelites. You got that for me. Acts 1 and 6. Book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying... So now the disciples, they came to Christ and they asked of him, read. They asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? To who? To Israel. So the kingdom is to Israel. So how can your pastor teach you 
the kingdom of heaven for everyone is for all nations god don't see race when in the bible the same bible that's in court the same bible that's in the bookshops man says the kingdom of heaven is to israel the kingdom of heaven is only for the jews the same kingdom that everyone reads about in the bible is only for the israelites and it's in acts 1 and 6. his disciples spoke to jesus christ and christ he let them know that this kingdom is only for the israelites read that one more time the book of acts chapter 1 and verse 6 when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying lord Wilt thou uh, at this time restore again the kingdom of to Israel? Yeah, so the kingdom was always for Israel. Why? Because the Israelites never had their kingdom. Look all throughout history. Every nation has had their kingdom. The Greeks, the Romans, the Medes. Every race has had a kingdom. They have ruled the earth at one point of time. Except you black man. You've never done it. Egyptians had their time. But the Israelites, the real Jews, you black man, you ain't had it yet. And his disciples knew. His disciples were like, when is our time? When are we going to rule the earth? And guess what? They knew that that great kingdom of heaven was only exclusive for one race of people. Give me Matthew 6 and 10. So, so what is the kingdom of heaven? Everyone loves to talk about it. But who knows what the kingdom of heaven even is, man? In the same Bible, everyone reads. It describes the kingdom of heaven and lets you know what is going to be happening in that kingdom of heaven in Matthew 6 and 10. At the UPK, we do this, man. We fix black people. We show black people who they are. We've been taught every black person's African, when even in scholastic, scholarly history, that, that's a lie. Everyone knew all black people in African. In history on West Africa, Many scholars, they know that Africans sold Jews into slavery. Right. Africans sold Semitic black Jews. And that's history. We got the records. We got the references. Read that for me. Matthew 6 and 10. The book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Thy kingdom come. So now this is the kingdom of heaven. And Christ is letting you know what the kingdom of heaven is even about. It says, read that again. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Read. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. That's the kingdom of heaven. The will of God being done. As you can see in England, the will of God ain't being done, man. Right. When everyone's celebrating pagan holidays, that ain't the will of God. Right. When people allow same sexes to marry, that ain't the will of God. Right. When people got freedom of religion, that ain't the will of God. Right. And in the kingdom of heaven, the will of God will be done. Read on. Yes, like it. In, in, uh, in earth as it is in heaven. And that's the kingdom of heaven. The will of earth, it's like the will of God being done on earth as it is in heaven. You ask your pastor, what's the kingdom of heaven? What does he say? He starts ranting. Well, well the kingdom of heaven is all of us holding hands and you know when I'm gonna dance and sing with Jesus. When according to what we read, the kingdom of heaven is the will of God being done on earth as it is in heaven, that's the kingdom of heaven, not a song and a dance. From there in the Apocrypha, Sir Ekin Ezra's, the second chapter and the tenth verse, Se Se Ekin Ezra's, second chapter and the tenth verse, the Bible ain't no myth, man. The Bible ain't no joke. The Bible is a history book, but here's the problem. Your pastors turn the Bible into singing and dancing. Your pastors just turn the Bible into the book of Psalms. That's what it's done. Meanwhile, this Bible has history, prophetical events. We broke it down about World War III being in the Bible. We, we showed you that in the Bible, we are the Jews. Why? From the prophetical events. Meanwhile, your pastor, he's too concerned about singing and dancing. Second is the second chapter and the 10th verse. Going into the kingdom of heaven. Every man in the Bible knew that the Israelites needed a kingdom. The Israelites needed to rule. That's what the Bible's all about, man. In Revelations, in the last book of the Bible, what does it say? In the kingdom of heaven, there was 12 gates. Right. And those 12 gates were for, the, were for the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Right. Showing you that in the end, the Israelites, you are going to get the kingdom. You are going to rule, man. You are going to do the will of God on earth as it is in heaven. And that's the kingdom of heaven. 
Second Ezra verse two and ten. Read it. Second Ezra chapter two and verse and te, verse ten. Many kings have have I destroyed. Oh man, no sweat. But in the Bible, it lets you know that the Jews are going to get the kingdom, and you are man. In the Bible, it says God is not a man that he should lie. And the Lord says you're going to have the kingdom of heaven. You are going to have the kingdom of heaven. No, no, no sweat. You are going to have the kingdom of heaven. You are going to rule, and that kingdom's coming. No sweat. Give me Haggai, the second chapter and the sixth verse. You are going to get the kingdom. And guess what? It's your kingdom's going to be forever. In the book of Daniel, it says, this kingdom was not left unto the hands of other men. And they had the kingdom forever and even forevermore. Black man, your rulership, your dominion ain't going to have no end. Your rulership ain't going to be like the Greeks, which was only 400 years. Ain't going to be like the Medes. Ain't going to be like the Persians. When the black man rules this earth, it's going to be forever. And that's what the prophet Daniel said in the Bible, for, forever and even forevermore, your rulership is going to be forever. Give me that Haggai 2 and 6. The, even the prophet Haggai saw this kingdom, saw the black man ruling and had to write it down. What you read about in the Bible is men of God seeing the last days, seeing you ruling, seeing you be the superpower of the earth. In the kingdom of heaven, the black man's going to be the superpower of the earth. Just like now it's England, just like now it's France. Once Christ returns, that's you black man. You're going to rule the earth and every nation's going to be subject under you. Every nation's going to be handing you their riches. Every nation is going to be giving their riches unto you. Why? Because you're going to be the superpower of the earth. Haggai 2 and 6. You got that? Okay. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a, a little while. And listen, God's saying, but once it's a little while. Us being oppressed under all these nations, in the sight of God, this, this is just a little while. Read. And I will shake the heavens. And God says he's going to shake the heavens. God's going to shake all these kingdoms. In your kingdom, black man, God's going to shake down all these nations. You think they're rich now? You're having all their riches. You think England's got gold? In the kingdom of heaven, you're having all that gold, man. You're gonna have gold in your clothes once God's done with England, once God is done with America, once God is done with all these kingdoms. Read. And the earth, uh -huh. and the sea, and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations. And God says, he's gonna shake all the nations, all the Europeans, all the Polish, Ukrainian, the Arabs. God's gonna shake all the nations. God's going to shake all these nations. What does it mean to shake them? I mean, you're going to rub them, man. Uh, every form of resource to have, God's going to shake them for it, man. Read. The desire of all the nations shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. And the desire of all the nations shall come. All their riches, they're going to come, man. All their riches, you're going to have it. You're going to have every nation's gold. You're going to have every nation's diamonds. You're going to have every nation's riches. Do you want to know why? Because that's what the Lord wants, man. Right. The Lord wants you to be rich, black man. The Lord wants you to rule over all these nations. Why? Because that's how it's meant to be. But, but what happened, we, we fell, man. We lost our way to go and be like everybody else. We lost our great laws, our great statutes, our great commandments to go and be like every other nation. And in the Bible, it says you are a holy people. And what does holy mean? Holy means separate. And you're separate, man. You can't follow these other nations. You can't be in the church, black man. You can't be in the mosque, black man. Right. Why? Because you're the holy people. Give me Leviticus 20 and 26. Leviticus 20th chapter and the 26th verse. You're holy, man. You're separate. You can't be in the church. You can't be in the mosque. Why? Because you're holy unto the Lord. You're separate. You was called to do the will of God. You weren't called to do what you want to do. You got it for me, Leviticus 20 and 26. And, and you shall be holy unto me. And listen to what God said, black man. You should be holy unto me. You should, you should be separate unto me. A black man, you're separate meaning you can't be no church on Sunday. You can't be no mosque. 
You can't join Rastafarianism. Right. You can't join Egyptology. Right. You can't do none of that. Because God says, you're holy unto me. Read. For, for I, the Lord, am holy. Why? Because God's holy. God's separate. God ain't like Allah. God ain't like Haley Selassie. God ain't like all you fake idols. Right. And God says, you're going to be holy because I'm holy. You're going to be separate because I'm separate. Read. And have severed you from other people. And have severed you from other people. Has cut us off from other people. Meaning you can't do what they do. You can't live other nations' lifestyles, man. Right. You can't do what they do. You are severed from other people. Hang on. Um, Jahamidi uh, Abelon to the years of book. So I'm going to get into some history. I made a statement earlier that we are not Africans. The people that were sold from West Africa to the Western Hemisphere, they are not Africans, man. And I'm going to get it for you. I'll, out, out, out of history, this is a book called Babylon to Timbuktu, written by a scholar, Rudolf R. Windsor. And in this same book, he goes into history, he goes into records, he goes into archives, showing you that the black man that was sold in slavery, he was not an African. He was an Israelite living in West Africa, sold by Africans to Europeans. We are not African, we are Israelites, man. We are the people of God, and I'm going to get it for you out of some history. I got one now. All right, let's go. All right. Read. From who? Yeah, from the Dr. Alan H. Gundy. All right. Yeah, um, uh, read it for me. Which page? This is, this is Babylon the Timbot 2, page 132. Dr. Alan H. Godbay po post postulates the, the position that black Jews were on the West African coast. So now, this guy here, he's a, his, he's a historian on West African history. And this man says, Jews settled on the West coast of Africa. That's something that a lot of people don't understand. Right. The people that were sold into the West Indies, we were not African. That's right. We were the Jews that lived in the West coast of Africa. Read from Senegal to Angola, and they, the Jews, were, d were driven to this area from the central, Su central Sudan by Muslim propaganism. Pro 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 so now, we had to go to West Africa. Why? Because that was the safest place for the Jews that they had to go. So now, even historians on West African history, they know that the people that were sold into the Western Hemisphere, they were not Africans. They were Jews that settled in West Africa, settled in Ghana, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, all those regions. Read. Having a knowledge of the black Jews in the United States, Dr. Godbey arrived at this conclusion. These facts have a peculiar significance when the, the presence of, the, of Judaism among American Negroes. So now he's asking if we are the real Jews, then guess what? We are the people that are of the Bible. We are the people that come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this scholar right here, he's wondering, how come we are unaware of this? How come we don't know? Us being the Jews, we don't know this. A lot of us think we're African. A lot of us think, well, they're black and black. We are the same. Right. Meanwhile, history says otherwise. Right. History and scholarly information says otherwise, man. Read. So, okay. uh, it's to be considered hundreds of thousands of slaves were brought to America from this Western Africa during the days of the traffic, beginning nearly 400 years ago. How much more of Judaism, Judaism survived among West African Negroes. Yes, now he's asking, we are the people that, we are the people of the Lord. And he's asking, how come we don't know this in America, in the West Indies? He has the information that the people that was in West Africa sold, they were the Jews. It wasn't Africans selling their own people. It was Africans selling Hebrew Israelites. It was Africans selling the people of God. And this is history right here. No sweat. Read a part there before Dr. It's good. All right, um, yeah, um, uh, read the next page. Before Dr. God, Dr. Goodby published this, his book, 
the Lost Tribes, a myth. Rabbi Matthew organized a Hebrew congregation in 1918 uh -huh. and proclaimed that the black people of the United States and the West Indies are the original black Hebrews. And there you have it. The black people of the United States and in the West Indies are the original black Hebrews, man. Right. We are the Israelites. Right. And many people that do research on West Africa, they know that you are, they know that us, us in the West Indies, we were African. We were Israelites that lived in West Africa and sold by Africans. And then we ended up in Jamaica, in Trinidad, in Montserrat. And they know this, man. Right. They had meetings and said that the black people in America and the West Indies are the original black Hebrews. Right. And that's history that your pastor don't know, man. That's history that many scholars don't know. We are the Jews. And with that, peace and shalom. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said, chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends, or we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Now nah, I'm a domino. So what you suck is trying to do? Rhyming comical, guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team up. All stars, I coach him up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since. All the dominance of one west rising to prominence. Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me.